Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do a book haul for you all. So I actually have a couple more books than I thought here to show you. So I'm glad I'm doing this haul now. But some of these I bought, majority of these I bought. Some of these I got from work. Some of these I was sent. And some of these I won in giveaways. So the first book I have here is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Tali Hibbert. I loved Get a Life, Chloe Brown. So when I knew that this was coming out, I was so excited to get my hands on it because I loved this world and these characters. And I'm just excited to learn more about Chloe's other sisters. So the next book I have is Black Kids by Christina Hammonds Reed. This sounded so amazing. I've been waiting so long to get my hands on this book. And so the day it came out, I literally went into work and I just bought it because I knew it was going to be super good. So far, I've started it and I liked what I've been reading. So it's pretty much living up to my standards right now. Next book I have is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. This is also the book club pick for Chanel from Chanel Times book club as well. Crusty book club. So I'm excited to read this and I've heard such good things and I know it's going to be really good. So next book I have is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid. I'm really excited to check it out. The next book I have is Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. I got this in a book box. This sounded really intriguing so I was like why not and the cover is pretty gorgeous and I really loved the sprayed edges as well. So next I have A Reaper in the Gates by Saba Tahir. I could not resist buying this book because I finished the second one and it was so good so I was like I need the third one now. Next is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I bought this because my friend Erin from Booked and Busy raved about this book and she said it's a really good book if you're trying to transition into adult fantasy and I am tiptoeing into that transition so I figured this would be a good one to buy and honestly anytime Erin says a an adult fantasy is good. I keep that in mind because I know usually her opinions are golden. So super excited to pick this up. Next, I have Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifioko. I got this from work. They sent us an advanced copy and I snagged it because I have been wanting to read this. The cover is so beautiful. The story is so interesting. I've heard so many good things about it. Next, I have This Is My America by Kim Johnson. I literally am so excited to read this because I know it's going to be so, so good. The cover is so beautiful and just the story itself I know is so important. So I'm definitely looking forward to picking it up and just forming my opinions because I know it's gonna make me think a lot. Next I have two of the same book because of reasons. I have An Arc of Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron and I have a physical copy as well because someone was gracious enough to send me the arcs and then I didn't really know when the arc was gonna come so I just bought the physical copy too just in case because I really did want to jump into this and read it. So I'm really really excited to pick this up because I know Cece from Cecil Reads really really enjoyed this book and so I hope I do too. Next I have the Fairy Loot Edition of The Damned by Renee Audier because I could not resist buying it with these lilac covers and it's signed so I was like let me buy that. Next I have Stronger Than You Know by Jolene Perry. I actually already read this and I loved it. I borrowed it from my library when I originally read it but I decided I wanted my own copy so I could tab it up and just like relive my favorite moments. Also, another book that I've already read is Rune and Rising by Leigh Bardugo. I bought this so I could complete my Leigh Bardugo collection because I literally have all of her books except for this one and Ninth House, which I don't plan on reading, so I probably won't buy that. But I really wanted to complete my trilogy, so I just went out and bought it. 
Next are three books that I was sent by Simon Teen. I have My Summer of Love and Misfortune by Lindsay Wong. I thought this cover was super gorgeous when I first heard about it like a couple months ago. So I'm really excited to have this and to check it out because I feel like it's going to be interesting. Next I have Today, Tonight, to Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I feel like I've heard a lot of people say Rachel Lynn Solomon's books are really good. So I'm very intrigued to check this out and see if I like it. And then the last book I have is 10 Things I Hate About Pinky by Sanya Menon. I'm so excited for this one because I've heard so many people rave about Sanya Menon's books and the fact that her contemporaries are just really cute and people love them and the fact that literally every book she's written has a brown person on the cover just makes me want to make her a new favorite even though I haven't read her books yet. <laughs> So I'm excited for this and thank you Simon Teen for sending me these books because I am really looking forward to reading those. The next book I have is Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. This was the Fairy Loot July book. Uh, I liked the black suede edges. I haven't heard much about this book. I don't think I've seen anybody really talk about it so I'm intrigued to check it out and see if it's good. And then the last book it's, I won off of a Goodreads giveaway which I didn't believe people actually won Goodreads giveaways, honestly, until I won. So if you're one of those people, there's hope for you. But it's an arc from one of my favorite authors. I got The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I literally love Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She's one of my favorite authors. If you've been following my channel for a while, I literally talk about the Naturals series a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. And so the fact that I managed to get my hands on an arc of one of her books is blowing my mind because I never thought that would happen. I have honestly accepted that I would never get an arc of her books ever. Like I would just buy them and support her and everything, which I'm still gonna do, but just, I don't know. I am just so happy because she legit writes some of my favorite stories and I think she's just such a good writer. And so I'm really, really, really excited to pick this up because yeah like one day if I ever can meet her and get her to sign my books the fact that I can be like here can you sign this arc that I won so that is my haul for you but if you like the video please like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns on any of the books I mentioned whether you like them didn't like them haven't read them yet please leave all that in the comments down below if you're not good at commenting I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below and if you want to see more videos from me please hit that subscribe button you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds mm -hmm.